everyone, I'm back here again for our video, and in this video I'm showing off my entire Anchor Bay collection. Now this is going to be a video response to Andrew Ballina. He recently did a video showing off his Anchor Bay collection, and if you guys don't know who Andrew Ballina is, I'll leave a link down below to his video. He's a really great YouTuber, he's got a really great collection, a really big horror collection, as well as a really large uh, Halloween collection as well. So if you guys don't know who Andrew Ballina is, I'll leave a link down below to his video. But like I said, he did a video showing off his Anchor Bay collection, and I wanted to do a video response to it because it's been a really uh, long time since I've done a video showing off my entire Anchor Bay collection. But for this video, I'm going to do something different. In the past, when I've done videos showing off my Anchor Bay collection, I would show off the DVDs and, and Blu-rays in one video, and then I would show off the VHSs in another video. And it would always be, you know, two or three parts long. And I wanted to do something different. So for this video, I'm just showing off my entire Anchor Bay collection in one video. So everything that I own um, from Anchor Bay will be shown in this video. Uh, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And the first uh, things I'm going to show off are all my Anchor Bay releases from my Halloween collection. So first, we have up here, of course, the Halloween, the 15-disc deluxe edition box set from Anchor Bay and Scream Factory. And then we have the Halloween, the 35th Anniversary Edition Digibook. Then we have the 35th Anniversary Edition UK Steelbook. Then we have my two DVD releases that I own of the, of the first Halloween. Um, first we have a, you know, sort of a standard release and a nice slipcover. And then we have the uh, 25th Anniversary Edition two-disc set. Then right here I have a late 90s uh, VHS release of Halloween. And then I have the Restored Collector's Edition of Halloween on VHS with the lenticular slipcover, and it also comes with a postcard of Jamie Lee Curtis. Alright, move on down here. Then we have Halloween 4 and 5. These are both the Divi Max Special Edition DVD releases. And then I have Halloween 5 on VHS, the, the, slip, the slip sleeve release. And then I have Halloween 4... And Halloween 5, the uh, Anchor Bay Collector's Edition clamshell releases. And then the last of my Halloween collection, it is the 25 Years of Terror documentary. Really great documentary. Alright, now we're going to move on down to my Evil Dead collection. First, we have the Evil Dead, the Ultimate Edition 3-disc set. That's a really awesome release. Then I have the uh, Blu-ray Steelbook right here. And then the Book of the Dead edition of Evil Dead 2. I love these editions. I wish I owned uh, the first one. And then the Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness, the two-disc Boomstick edition. Alright. Then right here, we have uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1. Um, really... Really sad to hear that, uh, you know, the series got canceled. And it's also um, pretty sad to hear that Bruce Campbell is no longer playing Ash. He recently announced that he is retiring as that character. So now he will no longer be betraying Ash um, ever. Um, but then right here we have a standard uh, DVD release of Evil Dead. And then I have uh, Evil Dead on VHS and... Um, you know, slip slip cover or slip sleeve release, whatever you want to call them. And then I have the Anchor Bay clamshells of the original Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. All right, now I'm going to move on to just the standard Blu-rays. First, we have a uh, clown. Have not seen it, but I've heard good things. Then we have Rob Zombie's The Haunted World of El Super Bisto, which I have not seen yet. Then we have Let Me In. Okay. And that's all for the standard Blu-rays. Now moving on down to the DVDs. And I have a lot more Anchor Bay DVDs um, than Blu-rays. First we have the Battle Royale. This is the single uh, DVD release. Great film. Next up we have Chud. Great movie. We have the original Children of the Corn. Then we have Creep Show 2. 
Then we have the Divi Max Special Edition of Dawn of the Dead. And Day of the Dead. Love that release. Alright. Move on down. We have Hatchet. Hellraiser, this is uh, from the Anchor Bay Horror Collection. They released several movies, you know, underneath this uh, Horror Collection banner on DVD. Then we have I Spit on Your Grave. Lost After Dark. Then we have Bruce Campbell in The Man with the Screaming Brain. Then we have Phantasm. Phantasm 3. Dario Argento's Phenomena. Alright. Then we have Silent Night, Deadly Night, the uncut and uncensored release. Then we have The Wicker Man. And the Wicker Tree. Alright. Moving on up here. Got some steel books. Hold on one sec. Got Django Unchained. Blu-ray steel book. And Lawless. Blu-ray steel book. And then we have the It Follows. Blu-ray steel book. And then have the Battle Royale, uh, the complete collection, four disc, uh, digibook style DVD packaging. Which is very nice. Alright, now I'm going to move over here to my Anchor Bay VHSs. I used to have a lot more VHS releases from Anchor Bay. You know, I used to have a, uh, a release of the first two Hellraiser movies on VHS, and I also had a... Uh, a VHS set that had uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and 5, and I guess I got rid of those because I already have several releases of the Hall of the Nightmare on Elm Street films on VHS, so I didn't really feel like I needed those. But um, first, right here we have Children of the Corn VHS, Hell Knight, and then some more Anchor Bay clamshells. First, we have The Midnight Hour. Absolutely love that film. Shivers, Dracula, Prince of Darkness from the Hammer Collection, and then we have Rasputin, the Mad Monk, still sealed, Nosferatu, Two Lane Blacktop, sorry about that glare. Time Bandits, and Return to Oz, which was a movie that really freaked me out as a kid. The scene when, when Dorothy goes into that, uh, um, when she's trying to find uh, Mumsy, I think is her name, and, and there's all those heads everywhere in those cases, that scene really freaked me out as a kid. Alright, got a few more DVDs over here, just a couple more. Right here we have Heathers, and we have Life of Brian. And that is my entire Anchor Bay collection. Now I know I don't have a very large collection, um, but like I said, I, I used to have a lot more releases um, on VHS, but as I've gotten them on DVD, I've upgraded. Or, you know, like I said, I used to have a, a two-tape set of Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and 5. And I ended up getting rid of that because I already own, um, you know, the Nightmare on Elm Street series. I own all of them on VHS, so I really didn't feel the need to, to keep them. You know, I, I, I decided to get rid of it, you know, just to have more space on my shelf. So, I really don't have a very large collection, but um, I am happy with what I do have. And always, you know, if I ever see an Anchor Bay DVD or you know, in a store, um, you know, an older Anchor Bay classic release, you know, I'll definitely pick that up, you know, um, and, you know, I do see some, I know that they don't release as many, um, you know, great movies, um, like they used to, um, 
you know, but there are still a few nice uh, newer releases that Anchor Bay has put out. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you guys think about my Anchor Bay collection, um, and let me know uh, if you have a uh, large Anchor Bay collection. And if you guys would like to do a video response, uh, like I said, um, I'll leave a link down below to Andrew Bauer's a video so you guys can go check that out and do a response to him or you can do a video response to me I would love to see your anchor bay collection anyway guys as I said if you guys want to check out check out oh, Sorry, can't talk today if you guys want to check out Andrew Ballina I'll leave a link down below to his video if you guys want to join my horror or movie collecting Facebook group I'll leave a link down below to that also I'll leave a link down below to my Facebook page and my Twitter page so you guys can follow me. Anyway guys, thanks everybody for watching and I hope you all have a great Wednesday.